Channel 3, United and United Express. Yo, 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 another day, another dollar with your homeboy Jermaine. And a lot of you guys may be wondering, where are you, Jermaine? This vlog started off going to the airport, and now I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm not, I haven't left anywhere. Well, problems, problems, problems. Today, airport day has been a disaster. I've been rescheduled on not one flight, not two flights, but three flights today. So I showed up to the airport earlier this morning. They would not let me go through airport security because I had two bags and a skateboard, so they told me to go all the way back and check one of the bags. And I knew I would not have enough time to go all the way back and check the bag, and I already knew I would not have enough time. So I'd already missed the first flight. So great, so I'm waiting in that really, really long line, and like I pay to have one of my bags checked, and I also pay to be put like back on another flight, all right? Yo, so cool. So I go all the way back through airport security for the second time, okay? The second time they say, all right, your, your skateboard, you, you, can't, you can't fly with this. Like, are you crazy? This thing is a bomb. Like, it's a hoverboard. Like, you can't fly with this. And I'm like, no, it's not a hoverboard. It's a boosted board. A hoverboard's like $300. A boosted board's $1,300. A hoverboard, you stand on it. A boosted board, you ride. They're like, they're not the same. They're completely different. So, and I'm telling them about the battery size and all that. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they tell me, you need to go back to Virgin America, wait in that line again, and then I got someone to walk over with me to TSA from Virgin America to sign for this little, to sign for the board to be on the plane, right? So we do that, so I have to wait through airport security again, right? So I wait through airport security again, and this is just getting annoying because I'm just waiting in lines and waiting in lines. Now they're scanning my bags for the third time, and they're scanning the board, and they say, okay, you cannot fly with the board because they have to, the person from Virgin America has to be right here and they have to sign like right here and I'm like well they already signed, they already signed, that sort of thing. Alright so after waiting there for another 20 minutes because I'm already rescheduled on another flight and I got plenty of time to catch that flight, the lady comes around, the lady that resold me one of the flights because I, I don't know, I've been on so many flights now. So. She came back around and said, look, you can't fly with this skateboard, you can't fly with this skateboard, and to make a long story short, that's why I'm here, at the post office. I just don't even want to talk about this anymore because it's really annoying. I got the booster board here, got a box here, got some tape, I'm going to tape this thing in the box and ship it off, and I just discovered there's a BART station right over there, so I can just walk over, get on that BART station and go back to the airport. Now my next flight's at like 1 p.m., this is just such a huge inconvenience and that's how I'm getting my day started. Dude, I don't know what to do with this thing. I'm having the hardest time trying to ship this thing. I don't even know if I want to take it to New York. I don't even know if it's going to be worth it. Like, it's just, it's such a hassle right now. So I don't even know what to do with this thing. Like, my whole plans are just, they're, they're already ruined. I, I think, I don't know, I'm actually thinking about just leaving this thing here. So I went over to the post office. The post office will not ship a boosted board because of the lithi lithium ion battery. I can't even talk. So they won't ship it. So I went over here to this, this UPS slash FedEx store. It's gonna be like $75 to ship it. And then it's gonna take seven to eight days. So seven to eight days, $75. $75 is expensive. Seven to eight days is not, I mean, it's not that bad, yeah, or, or is it? I mean, seven to eight days is a pretty long time. So I don't even know what, the one reason I booked this flight for the 12th is because there's this boosted board meetup on the 14th. So I'm completely gonna miss that boosted board meetup. So I don't even know, like, I think I'm just gonna leave this thing here. I think I'm just gonna leave it here. 
have a completely different trip. But yeah, it's really fun to take the booster board to New York, but I think I'm just gonna leave it here. It's just, it's causing too many problems now. Like, I've been booked on, like, how many flights? Like, three flights, and this thing's heavy, and you always have to charge it. Yes, it's a lot of fun to ride, but I don't know if the amount of, I don't know if it's worth it anymore. Like, I haven't been riding my booster board that much, and now I'm just kind of like, I'm just gonna leave this crap here. So, I think I'm gonna get on BART, take BART back to Oakland. I have a homie that I could store this at his house. And then I'll just come back and get this later. Like, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I guess I just bought the box and the tape, all that for nothing. I guess I can stash the helmet too. Uh, this is just, let's go get on BART. BART's right over there. This really, really sucks. This really sucks, man. Sucks. Really don't know what this means. I just shipped off the boosted board, so it's it'll be in New York in like eight days or something like that, so I won't be able to ride. I will definitely miss the whole boosted board meetup events. I don't know, I'm really think I'm I think I'm over the boosted board now. It's just like I like it a lot, but it I, I just haven't really had any problems with it until now, and this problem is like it's just not worth it for this problem. No, it's just not worth it. I mean, it's just like whenever someone crashes on their booster board, they're just like, they're just like, I don't want to ride it anymore. Like, this right here is like sort of taking a lot of energy out of me. And I, I don't know how much I like this thing anymore. So I tried to do a little live stream action, and that's not working. For some reason, it, it's not working on my phone. It, like, I have full bars, but there's like a YouTube error. So I had this idea of coming to this mall that I discovered right outside of San Bruno Bart Station. Check it out. And I thought I would test the internet here to see if I can do a little live stream action, but I don't know if the... Yeah, the internet's pretty slow. I don't know if uh, live stream's gonna happen here either. And maybe it's faster at the airport. Probably not. But I got like two hours before I need to be there. Three hours before I need to be there. All right, yo, just finished up with the live stream and I feel so much better. I feel so much better that I got to, you know, talk to my subscribers for a minute. I got to talk to someone for a minute because like I said, today has just been like, it's been a crazy day. Like I, believe me, I won't be traveling with a, a believe me, I will not be traveling with a booster board anymore. Like that whole deal is over with. And if I, if I am traveling with it, it's definitely gonna be like in a car or like um, a train or something like that. I'm definitely not gonna fly with it. It's just a really, really bad idea. Like I've just had the worst experience, like crazy experience. But for now, I think I'm just gonna cruise around this mall for like just maybe a few more minutes and then get ready to head back over to the airport and go through airport security and do all that stuff over again on oh, next. All right, yo, back at the airport again. Back at the airport again. Wow, the Virgin America line over there is much, much shorter than what it was this morning. I don't know if you guys can see it over there. It is much shorter now. Things are not as crazy as it once was. I think all those East Coast flights were leaving early in the morning. It just really sucks now. My, my bag's checked. It's probably already in New York. And my boosted port is here and I have this one bag. This is a this is a disaster. Like I don't even have a tripod. I, I my gorilla pod to my other backpack because I didn't think I would have to check it. This sucks. Well I don't know. Maybe it doesn't suck. Maybe things could be a whole lot worse, but I'm just a little bummed out. Like I'm I'm just a little bummed out. If I would have known all of this would have went down this way, I I believe me I would have booked a completely different adventure. I would have probably like took a train cross country that, that, that would have been fun and that's something I've been wanting to do for a while this would have been the perfect opportunity to do it maybe the next time that um, maybe when I come back from New York maybe I'll take the train so that way I can stay with my boosted board and I can also travel and bounce around go to a whole lot of different places along the way and uh, I'm really glad this airport security line is not on fleek right now it's much, much lower. I'm gonna go through airport security. I'll see you guys in a second. Two, please use this time to consolidate. If you need extra assistance, board an aircraft. Let us know at this time. Other than that, sit back relax. We do ask that you do stay seated till we call your boarding. All right, so the third flight was supposed to leave at 1.30, and now it is, let's see. It is 3:11, so I'm not gonna make it to the city until I don't know. It's gonna be like maybe midnight or 1 a.m. Whole day's completely changed. It's okay. 
Yo, so I don't know how this always happens. It just randomly happens. Like, I'm not even on Delta and it's still happening. Check this out. Homeboy Jermaine got three seats. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a nap. Maybe I'll go to sleep on this long flight. Gosh, I should have been in New York already by now. Alex and I should be eating vegan food at Go, Ch go Bing or Go Zing or Go... I think it's Go Zing, something like that. Yeah. Yo, let's get this flight started. Still flying, still flying, still flying. Land, go, next. Yo, yo, welcome to New York, welcome to New York. I'm in the middle of watching Alex's live stream right now because at night everyone goes live. I'm out of breath. Just walked up a whole bunch of steps instead of taking the escalators like everyone else. You know what I'm saying? I only got one backpack, that sort of thing. So Alex is live and I'm still out of breath. Heather's live and who? someone else was live in my, my news feeds. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get ready to end this video. It's, I don't know, I'm trying to stay positive and it's just more drama going on. But yeah, the booster board is en route to New York. And Jermaine is talking too much because I'm out of breath. But yo, um, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I'm gonna have to go downstairs and look for my bag and I don't even wanna say in this video if my bag is here or not because who knows it might not be here gosh this flight was so freaking delayed and then we after the plane landed we had to sit on the plane for 20 minutes that sort of thing gosh I'm so tired I'm ready to go but my night has only just begun yeah I'm like wait it's like what California time right now what time is it nine o'clock or something like that yo that's enough for this video I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out yo thanks a lot for watching Okay, where is my bag? Another 20 minutes later, I don't see my bag anywhere, and there's no more bags coming down here. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy. I guess I didn't have anything too important in there. I did have a camera in that bag. Oh, well.